going on guys it's Clements back on the mic and today what I've got for you guys is the best XM4 class setup within Warzone. Raven Software have buffed the XM4 numerous times recently. It's getting to the point now that they should really just stop because I've gotten some really cheeky kills with this thing. As of right now I am pairing the XM4 with the LC10 in quite a few of my games and I do actually have a class setup video on the channel for the LC10 so if you guys are interested in that video I'll leave a link to that video in the description of this video. So yeah without further ado let's jump straight into the XM4 build. Okay so for the muzzle on the XM4 I am using the agency suppressor. This gives you sound suppression which is very important, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity and effective damage range which is very important as well. It does knock off your ADS but for a ranged weapon like the XM4 it doesn't really matter all that much. Or at least I find it doesn't really matter all that much. It would matter on a gun like an SMG, like the LC10. You want an SMG to be fast, you want it to be snappy. Okay, so moving on to the barrel, we are using the 13.5 inch Task Force barrel. Raven Software have made many changes to how barrels work on Cold War assault rifles. The Task Force used to give you like added strafe speed, but knock off your recoil control. It doesn't do that anymore, it gives you bullet velocity, it actually increases your recoil control and adds even more effective damage range. Trust me guys, you want to use the Task Force Barrel on all of your Cold War Assault Rifles. You could use the Reinforced Heavy, um, it does knock off some of your range and damage, but it does make your ADS slightly quicker, but I always go for the Task Force. So if we're going to be taking on enemies at long range, you obviously want a good optic scope on the weapon, so I always go for the XA Alarms x 3 optic. It's very much like the VLK optic on Modern Warfare weapons that I always used to use. It is the closest clone you can get to the VLK on Cold War guns and we are using the precision rectangle on this thing as well just to make our shots a bit more clearer, a bit more accurate. For the under barrel I am using the field agent grip for added horizontal and vertical recoil control. The XM4 doesn't have that much recoil to be honest but for them longer range type engagements you obviously do want the added recoil control, you can feel the gun kick sometimes. Because they keep buffing this thing I have found that I am able to laser enemies from absurd ranges so I obviously want every shot to count which is why I do like the field agent grip on the XM4. And then for the final and fifth attachment I am using the 60 round fast mag because obviously ammunition is everything for ARs in Warzone. If I'm playing trios or quads I want to be able to take out multiple enemies at a time without having to stop and reload so the 60 round fast mag is the best option for that. If you aren't one for trios or quads and play more solos and duos, maybe just go for the standard 45 round or the 45 round fast mag just because then you get less of an ADS penalty. And that is it guys, that's all i got for you today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, found it helpful. If you did in any way, shape or form, drop a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.